better to be clear about your intentions. There's a misconception about feminism. In my experience, kids need two parents. You could be like, whoa, I like you and you like me. <laughs> <laughs> hey Degrassi, it's Zoe and Winston here for DTV. This week's DTV topic comes to us from Jordan at Degrexi on Twitter. Jordan says, you guys should make a DTV on how to talk to your crush because I'm struggling. Well, you came to the right place, Jordan. Let's ask some Degrassi students on how to talk to your crush. You should take notes. Well, if you're not really comfortable being super forward with them, you could always just like hang out with them and then eventually it could be like, whoa, I like you and you like me. How did that happen? No idea. But I mean, if that's not your scene, don't feel like you have to do that. If there's one thing I know a lot about, it's girls. So, um, you know, tease them, bring them down to your level. That way they're either uh, easier to talk to and they're vulnerable. As said what? That never works. I'm, if you tease me, I will cut you. Yeah, I guess I have changed my strategies a lot as I've grown up. And I've learned it's always better to be clear about your intentions and not to play games. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. It's scary, but it's totally worth it. And if it doesn't work out, you just move on to the next person. Don't be too scared to go and tell them how you feel because like, worst thing that can happen is that you tell them and they don't like you and then you have like three weeks of like awkward silence and then after that it's fine because they need a pencil. You get to know them. You get to know them so that you can see who they really are and see if there's really a connection or it's just Lust, and you're like, ooh, they could be good, but you talk to them once, and you're like, never mind. You're actually taking notes? <clears throat> Let's find out what the Degrassi community thinks. <laughs> A few years ago, I built up the courage to talk to my crush that no one really knew about since my friend, she wanted me to tell him that she liked him and ask him if he liked her back. So that was pretty awkward. I feel that people, especially younger people, are so vulnerable and don't want to put themselves out there. Talking to your crush can be very embarrassing and very nerve-wracking and just you feel so nervous. I realized that you just need to go for it. I know it's difficult to muster up the right words or find the right moment, but you can start by saying hello, and with that you can find common ground. Just be yourself and just talk to them like they're a friend of yours, and um, I think it's important to realize that even if they just like you as a friend, that's okay. Maybe try being their friend first, uh, getting to know them, and if the feelings aren't reciprocated, then maybe they're just not worth it, and there's always plenty of fish in the sea, so don't worry. So there you go, Jordan. Hopefully we answer some of your questions. Good luck talking to that crush. It's always better to just clear the air instead of just playing a sick game. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah. He speaks the truth. Yeah. He's hot. <laughs>